Welcome to In the Field. I'm Brad Hare with the University of Georgia College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. I'm here today with Dr. John Beasley, peanut agronomist with the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. Hey, Dr. Beasley. How you doing, Brad? I'm good, my friend. Thank you for joining me today. Absolutely. Hey, a UJ Tifta campus today. Two of Georgia's biggest crops joined forces today. What happened? Well, we had a University of Georgia cotton and peanut research field day. Yep. It was our fourth one. Yeah. And uh, it was an opportunity to bring all the growers together and other interested people to see what's going on in the world of cotton and peanut research at the University of Georgia. Hey, why have, some, why have these two together? What's the deal? Well, a uh, couple of reasons. Number one, Georgia is the number one peanut producing state in the United States by a long shot. We sure. produce about 45% of the total U.S. crop. Mm -hmm. Georgia's number two in cotton production behind Texas. And so when you've got two very economically important crops and and also the fact that they're both grown primarily in the southern part of the state. Sure. All the peanuts in the southern part, most of the cotton, and the majority of our growers grow both crops. It makes sense to pull them together and, and have a field day where the growers come one time to see what's going on both crops. Mm -hmm. Why have this thing today? What was the main purpose of this thing? Today? Well, the, the main purpose was to show the growers in the state that grow both cotton and peanut how the University of Georgia cotton team members and the University of Georgia peanut team members are spending those checkoff dollars. Uh, every cotton and peanut producer knows that they are assessed uh, a, a value on their crop that goes back into the Georgia Cotton Commission or the Georgia Peanut Commission. The boards of those two commissions then turn around and provide grant dollars back to the University of Georgia Cotton Team, University of Georgia Peanut Team for us to conduct the research. The main thing we want to do is show these producers how we're spending their funding and to help answer their problems. Now, for those that couldn't attend today, what should they do to try to get some of this information? Well, we certainly missed those that weren't able to attend today, but if they really want to find out, we, we first we've got to get through harvest, sure. get, get all the data collected, get the data analyzed and interpret it. But then we'll put it in some written form that we can hand out at the winter meetings. Mm -hmm. And we'll also have the county production meetings so they can attend and we'll talk about it there. That means these, group, these growers need to contact their local county extension right. office that's their the, connection. That's their connection, that county extension office, so they can get the written information. And we'll be there in person at every county uh, conducting these meetings in the winter, so we'll be there available to answer questions about what went on in the field this summer in this research trials. Hey, I pre hey the attendees of the field day just left, but the mats just arrived. But <laughs> for today. Hey, peanut and cotton, big crops in Georgia. Join forces today on the UJ Tifton campus for a field day. And thank you, Dr. Beasley, for joining me today. Thank you. And Appreciate let me know it. a little bit about it. Hey, until next time, take care, give thanks, and good luck.